Hello, hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here, welcome. I'm Bonnie, Old Soul Mermaid. And today I have an unboxing to be all unboxings. The generosity of one of my viewers. Um, this person who also happens to be a fellow Texan sent me this box with several decks and a book. And um, I am just so overwhelmed by their generosity. And I'm going to unbox this all in one video. I'll put timestamps because I feel each deck, you know, needs to be featured um, by itself. Uh, several of these decks are unopened, brand new, brand new condition, and I am just speechless. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get into the contents of this box. So, as I said, I have several decks to show, and I think I may title this uh, video uh, Viewer's Generosity Part 1 because there's going to be a Part 2 because a fellow YouTuber did something very special and very unique for me, and I'm going to feature that in another video. Uh, this video may turn out to be a little bit long, but that's why I'm going to put timestamps so you can uh, skip around and, you know, kind of navigate as you have time. But I am, like I said, I am overwhelmed. So the first deck that I've pulled out of the box is... Alice in Tarotland Tarot Deck, a 78 card deck by Loreen Music. Now, I, I was not familiar with this deck. This deck was not on my radar. It's an independent creator, and I think she goes by, let's see, she has an Etsy store. She's Divination Apothecary or divinationapothecary.com. She does have an Etsy store online and this deck is out of stock or out of print right now but there is a matching Lenormand deck and I will put that in the uh, description box below in case you're interested because I know I'm going to be. All right so it says on the back of the box down this rabbit hole you'll find insightful and inspiring and whimsical revelations. Welcome to Tarotland, where Lewis Carroll's illustrations of Alice and her friends meet the classic interpretation of the Rider-Waite-Smith tradition. The images will feel oddly familiar and yet completely reimagined. Allow your intuition to be surprised and delighted as you explore the mirror of your current expression. Okay, I'm going to get the plastic off of this. Now, I am loving this tuck box. It is completely, completely in the aesthetic of Alice. And you know, I have a couple of other Alice decks. I do have the Dame Darcy Queen Alice deck and I have the Baba Studios. So I am so excited to tear into this one. Now I took the cards out and this cardstock is a linen finish. The cards are standard tarot size so it matches up with my yellow box RWS set exactly the same but it is a lovely linen cardstock which should be easy to shuffle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the deck and we're going to do a musical flip through and then I'll meet you on the other side. <music>
that musical flip through of this delightfully whimsical deck. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't believe I was not aware of this deck. And with, just to let you know, I didn't mention it, the backs are fully reversible. And uh, being linen cardstock, they shuffle like a dream. And if you notice that uh, this deck is, I can't tell if it's fully mixed media or, you know, a digital manipulated deck, but there's so much texture and so much going on in the images. It is just utterly enchanting. And most of the time you get the traditional classic Alice in Wonderland Im images and illustrations in the deck, but then this, this little Alice pops up occasionally. And just the way the, that uh, the artist manipulated the, the art to fit the suit, it's just wonderful. I, this is this is such a beautiful deck and if you're an Alice fan I'm hoping that this deck will come back into circulation I may contact the um, creator she does say I think she she has her Lenormand deck on her Etsy site but it's uh, she lets you know that it, it'll be a few weeks before you get it because I think she prints it off of make playing cards. I think in the in the description, uh, print on demand is kind of a thing. She doesn't have any of those in stock. But I'll leave you a link to the shop if you want to contact her yourself if you're interested in this deck. And I am just blown away. Okay, on to the next deck. Okay, we're to the next deck. And I can't believe this. Again, uh, <sighs> a new unopened deck. This is the art card that came with the deck and it is the Deviant Moon Tarot Paradoxical Edition by Patrick Valenza. I do have the Deviant Moon Borderless Edition and it is a favorite of mine, but if you know my normal aesthetic, you know this the Deviant Moon is kind of outside of it and that's kind of why I love it. I don't think these are available anymore because on the box, and you can see it's still in its shrink wrap, only 500 were printed. That's my understanding. And I went to look on Patrick's website and I it says sold out and I'm just, oh my gosh. Now I didn't even know of the existence of this deck um, because the Deviant Moon has, has been enough uh, for me, I, I was kind of interested in the Mildred Payne little oracle, but um, I, I'm i so anxious to tear into this deck. I'm wondering, because I don't know anything about it, if it's just the Deviant Moon in different colors. Um, let's tear into it and find out. Okay, so on the side of the box, it says, Dream on the Other Side of the Moon. The paradoxically inverted images in this exclusive limited edition will take your readings into a deeper dimension. And all over the box, again here, it says 500. And 500 down here, but it does say 2008 US Games. I think that means because, you know, it was trademarked originally in 2008 by US Games. Um, I think this is going to have the same imagery, but different coloration. Now, let's see, I have the two art cards here. And this says, this bizarre mutation of the Deviant Moon Tarot was created around the same time I finished the original deck back in 2007. It started when I accidentally inverted one of the card images and I liked how unexpectedly different it looked. Wild experimentation followed. Although I never intended to release this collection, I did issue a small pack of cropped images as an art deck in 2014. Since then, I have received numerous requests for a full-size deck, so here it is at last. 
part reading deck, part art deck. I hope you enjoy your stay on the other side of the moon. And he dedicated this to Stuart Kaplan. Okay, so this is the back. And you know what I think we're going to do? We're going to do a side-by-side -side with my borderless edition and this edition just so we can see how it varies. <laughs>
of both of these editions of the Deviant Moo, the Paradoxical Edition and the regular uh, Mass Market Borderless Edition. I did want to mention that the cardstock is exactly the same in both decks and they are exactly the same size, kind of on the narrow side of, um, you know, a regular tarot size deck and then they're a little bit taller as you can see and we'll turn this around so you can see they are a little bit taller and skinnier but they're the exact same cardstock exact same size and I didn't notice this before but this little art card had you know both editions both examples of both decks Okay, moving right along to the next deck. All right, everyone, you're going to be just amazed at what's coming up next. It is the Labonco Tarot by Emily Labonco. Now, to my knowledge, this deck is currently out of print. The first edition is out of print, but they're working on a second edition or second printing of this deck. I went on her website and just looked that up really quick, but um, it's unavailable right now and I am speechless. Truth be told, I was not really, this deck was not in my wheelhouse. I think it was a Kickstarter deck and maybe it passed by because I was backing a deck or two already, but um I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm speechless. Um, this is a fully illustrated 78 card deck exploring the surreal, the intense, the queer, and the divine. So I'm going to take the plastic off of this deck and we're going to get into it. This has you know, the beautiful magnetic side opening kind of clamshell box. Oh my gosh. And the production is beautiful. If I remember correctly, this is a pretty dark deck and it might have been one of the reasons why I didn't purchase it initially. But look at inside the box. Really, really beautiful. And the card backs. And the guidebook. 
Now we're just gonna skim through the guidebook really quick. You are holding in your hands a lovingly crafted tarot deck. I have been reading tarot for over 18 years and making this deck for at least six of those from 2014 to 2020. Much has changed in these years and this, like any piece of art, is a time capsule of a person who makes art in such times. That's beautiful. And I guess it is when we look at our tarot decks, they are time capsules. Not only from the, you know, there is, the creators can view that, you know, where they were at the time that they created the deck, but we as users of their creations look at where we were when we first got the deck, when we were first starting to read with um, tarot, um, what situations we were in, so it is a time capsule for us personally as well. There's no pictures in the book, but there is quite a bit of information, reversed meanings. I'm just looking to see if there's any spreads. There does not appear to be, but that's okay. The deck is a wonderful matte cardstock, but not a rose petal sticky finish. It is similar to that of um, Ethany's Modern Love Tarot. It is thin, but not flimsy. It'll be easy to shuffle. And the sides are etched in a beautiful silver. So I think this deserves a musical walkthrough as well. I mean, I'm excited. I'm not really familiar with these cards, so I'm excited to see what's on the other side.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the musical flip through for this deck because it is truly a unique deck. The artist is truly visionary. Um, some of the images are a little bit dark for my taste, but some of them, I mean, are so original and and there are just a lot of cards that I truly love. I have, I'm having a hard time with the six, oh, sorry. I'm having trouble with the lovers. Um, just because I think this reflects more of the shadow side of the lovers. It, I'm not, I don't associate blood with the lovers, but that's just, you know, my limited vision and how I read. But there are cards in here. I truly love this hermit card. I really, really enjoy this high priestess card. And this empress card is so, so beautiful. So again, this is a deck that's not in my normal wheelhouse. So I'm going to have fun experimenting and having it expand my skills and vision a little bit. So I'm very, very thankful um, for the chance to work with this beautiful, stunning deck. Okay, let's get to the next one. All right, on to the next deck. Now this deck is not packaged. Um, it was sent in this beautiful little velvet sparkly bag. And I have to tell you, I was completely unaware of this deck before, and I believe it's unavailable. I believe the seller or the creator of the deck was from Australia and she created this deck. I think it was available through Etsy or eBay for a while haven't been able to find it um, if you're interested, but I will try to look again. And if I can, by the time I post this video, I will leave links if there are any, but so far I haven't been able to find any. All right, so let's take it out of the bag. We have the Tarot of Atlantis by Akira Zossens. And yes, I believe she's an Australian artist. And here we have a little booklet. I think this was probably a PDF or, you know, kind of print on your own. And it looks like it was stapled together. But you just get, you know, the some keywords for each. And these are the backs. Now, the cardstock is a little bit on the flimsy side. And I'll let you know after the musical flip through what it kind of reminds me of. All right, so let's get through the, let's, all right, so let's get to the musical flip through and I'll meet you on the other side.
really like the homemade quality of this deck. But the cardstock is, you know, a little bit on, on the flimsy side. And um, I have to be a little bit precious, you know, when um, being careful not to bend it. It is very, very whimsical. And you can see it was just, I really like the kind of arts and crafts vibe to it. Now, it reminds me of two other decks that I have in my collection, uh, the cardstock and the artwork, and they are Minute Tarot and Minute Lenormand by Robin Tish Hollister. And, you know, the lore behind the Minute Tarot and Lenormand was she was, the artist was wanting to do a project, see if they could create a, a tarot picture in five minutes with Sharpies. I believe Sharpies were used for the artwork in these two decks and she succeeded. And that's what this reminds me of. I don't know, I can't tell if markers, maybe watercolor markers, watercolor itself, but it has very much the same vibe. There's a very thin border on it. And I think person that the wonderful person that sent it to me etched this themselves because there is one card that is not etched and I think I'm going to do some re-edging of it myself and have a little bit of fun with that maybe following trying to follow this um it looks like a metallic pen was used I don't know I'm gonna have to investigate but it looks wonderful and it's a very, very unique deck, and I am very, very thankful to have it in my collection. I can't have um, too many mermaid or ocean-themed decks in my collection. I just, I just love them. There was another thing I want to show you that was in the box, and that is a book. What Color Is Your Aura by Barbara Powers, Ph.D.? And this book is Personality Spectrums for Understanding and Growth, How Your Personality Aura Color Affects Your Career, Social and Romantic Life, Finances, Sexuality, Personal Powers, and much more. Have you, let me know in the comments below if you've had your um, aura color figured out because I, I find it very, very interesting and I think this would be very, very illuminating. It's something I haven't delved into, but um, I know there are certain colors that I personally gravitate towards. And I find, I think this is gonna be an, kind of an easy read, something I can handle, um, but very interesting and illuminating all the same. Now that concludes my very special unboxing of a very special gift or gifts that were sent to me uh, by the generous Anton. Anton, I publicly want to thank you for your generosity. I love all these decks. I'm going to find a way to use them. Um, I'm going to jump right into it. I, It's like play. It's going to be very fun to play with these decks. This deck, the Lobongo Tarot, I think is going to be the most different experience for me because of some of the darker nature of some of the cards, like I mentioned the lovers, and also the depiction I was thinking back in the Eight of Swords too but um like i said reading with a deck that you wouldn't that's not naturally in your wheelhouse i think can only help you to grow and um i'm very excited to experiment like i said i'm sorry if this is a long video i'm going to put timestamps because i don't want to hold anybody hostage so you can like skip around as you like. Let me know if you have any of these decks, if you were aware of them, if some of them were new. 
And um, yeah, let me know your experience with them. And I want to thank you for spending time with me. If you had any fun, found any value to this video, please consider hitting a like, a subscribe, and I will leave you to get on with your beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.